Well, good morning, magandang umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today is Saturday, another quarantine day here in the Philippines, but if, I, if you have to be in a quarantine situation, sometimes you have to make the best of it. And being in the backyard back here first thing in the morning, having a nice cup of joe, as we call it in the U.S., uh, some coffee, it's, it's really not a bad situation. And that's kind of what we're going to talk about today is how you can make the best of a bad situation. It's things that you can do to kind of pass the time away. Uh, as you know, if you've been following the news, and I'm sure you have, uh, in the U.S., mm, number one now in the world for the uh, infection rate, over 100,000. Uh, that's kind of sad, but you know what? We're going to get through this. Mm, we're going to get through this not just in the U.S., not just here in the Philippines, but around the world, and there will be better days to come. Uh, so today's episode is going to be <laughs> talking about something that you can do so that when those better days come, you can kind of look back at these days right here and uh, not so much laugh about them, but you can sit there and say, I lived through it, I survived, and I uh, have something to show for that. So let's go ahead and get today's episode started. Now, without further delay, let's get today's video underway. <music> Now, before we go further on into the backyard, I have a few exciting things to show you here this morning. Uh, and what is exciting to me, I hope is exciting for you too, because you know what's exciting for me are little things, little things like maybe a new growth that I found on uh, one of my plants or citrus or one of the plants that we put in the backyard that wasn't there yesterday, but it's there today. Uh, remember the other day we were talking about the calamansi on the back porch? Now, if you remember, we were looking at this calamansi that has the coffee uh, coffee grounds that we've been adding to the pot down here. I want you to look at the blossoms. It just seems like we're getting more and more blossoms, uh, which I suspect we're gonna, and they're, su they're, su they're sweet, they're so sweet smelling. I can, up here, uh, I can smell the sweetness of the blossoms here. Uh, so anyway, uh, this thing is doing great. I also wanna show you over here on, uh, by the sink, by the barbecue, this fell off. This is a lemon. This is a lemon that fell off of my wonderful lemon tree. Uh, lemon tree back over there. This fell off, so we'll be, and it's getting a little bit soft. I think we're gonna cut this open today, maybe make some lemonade, or make a smoothie with some lemon inside. Also, uh, picked these the other day. Uh, this is Sabah, and Ness, Ness uses the Sabah bananas to uh, cook with. Uh, so they're starting to turn yellow which and it's starting to get a little soft so they're about ready to go ahead and peel and and cook uh, inside the kitchen uh, so anyway we're gonna leave this here for right now but this isn't what I'm excited about to show you uh, today what I want to show you is somewhere back in the backyard now I picked some strawberries yesterday so we ate strawberries from the raised bed garden back here uh, we haven't gotten a, a, a vast amount there could this is the first cycle this is the very first cycle that we are getting any uh produce from the strawberry plants that we plant inside so i'm hoping in the years to come that we'll be able to get more i actually have to thin out the bed a little bit we have too many strawberry plants inside here and you remember here on the apple guava we pulled one off the other day we just finished eating uh with our dinner last night for dessert we finished eating the one that we cut up into small sections uh, but we have several other ones here that are almost ready. As a matter of fact, one of them, one of them has a is kind of a pinkish color on it. So I think that's going to be ready very soon for us to pull and eat. Uh, I, I, I want you to see the mango. Uh, the mango trees here in the Philippines, they're, they're not only producing, but they're beautiful. Look at the shape of this mango. Now, we planted this mango about two years ago, if you've been following. And I've pruned it just a little bit to keep the shape nice, but it's actually doing really, really good. Uh, but what, the main thing I wanted to show you this morning is actually two things that got me excited this morning when I walked into the backyard. I get excited very easily around here, as you probably know from watching some of the other videos. But I want you to see what I found this morning inside the raised bed garden. Now you're already aware this pineapple, this pineapple right here, 
has been growing and it's starting to actually look like a pineapple look at the shape of this guy right here but I've been waiting we have three other we have three that are of this variety right here that we got in Laguna and then we have one from Tagaytay that uh, Michelle remember Roy and Michelle they're stored down inside the barangay uh, I'm still waiting on that it hasn't it hasn't uh, created a blossom or fruit yet but right here I want you to look at this one As you can see, this is our second pineapple starting to grow right here. So now we have this one right here, and we have this one right here. Still nothing from this guy right here. He's still a little bit smaller. He's going to be a late bloomer, but the one I really want is the one from Michelle down here. I'm still waiting on a, a uh, blossom uh, fruit to start growing in that one. I don't know if we're going to get one this year or not. Maybe next year. Uh, look at the dragon fruit. The dragon fruit is doing great everywhere. Look at the dragon fruit over here. Look at the dragon fruit on this pole right here. It is just doing absolutely marvelous. It's continuing to grow. I'm, I'm hoping we'll get to the top, the very top up here, and we'll allow it to make like a canopy where the fruit should start be uh, developing on that. Okay, so I showed you the first thing that got me really excited this morning. Let me show you the second thing that got me excited. Now let's walk over to, by the Bayakubo. I want to show you the second thing that I'm really excited about today. Now you know from the last few videos that, that I've posted and I keep showing, showing these bananas right here. Now originally I thought this was a Lakatan banana plant. Then somebody told me it was a Lantundan, but I don't think. These bananas are too big. I, I still stick that this is Lakatan. It's just like the Lakatan that we buy inside the grocery store. Uh, they're bigger bananas, they're a little bit longer, and uh, they, they, they taste the same. But what I'm excited about this morning when I walked back here, I want you to see, I don't know how I missed this yesterday. You see this? This is a blossom. And what the blossom is, that's the, the, uh, the beginning of what is going to be what we saw on the other side over there. That's going to be some bananas over here. Now I believe, if you remember the bananas that we pulled off of this, I believe this is actually a Lantundan a banana. These are here. Remember I removed all the sabah from the backyard. The sabah was those small bananas that you saw back on the porch. Uh, because the whole community, if you look everywhere, Look at all these banana plants everywhere. You see all those banana plants over there? The entire community everywhere here has sabah. That's the native banana plant here. And you can get, you can get sabah anytime. They're, they're always dropping, or not dropping, they always have availability sabah. But Lakatan and Lantundan are very desirable for just regular eating, not for cooking. Uh, so uh, that, this is why I'm so excited. I saw this this morning. And we'll continue to observe this one right here. Now there used to be, if you see this big gap in between uh, all the, the trunks of the, uh, the banana plants here, there used to be a huge one, uh, about this size, maybe this size also, a little bit bigger. And we, we cut that one down. We already harvested. And the way it works with bananas, if you're not familiar, once you get bananas from that tree, that tree will never produce bananas again. So what you can do is basically one of three things. You can either leave the banana plant, it's just decorative. You'll just get leaves and it'll continue to grow and it'll continue to make little uh, babies here, you know, little sprouts, seedlings that you'll have here that you can actually transplant, leave in place to grow, transplant someplace else to propagate your, your crop of bananas. Or what you can do is you can cut the banana plant down. And you can do one of two ways. You can either cut it all the way down to the ground, which is what we did here. But a better way that I found out from Dave and Emily, uh, from Dave and Emily's Balakbayan Farming, uh, and you, she's been on our, our, our videos many times in the past, and she, she is an expert, expert in agriculture. They say, cut off the cut off the banana plant here, at this level, maybe about five, about five foot up get rid of the top portion and allow this to rot down. But what happens is all the moisture that's in this portion of the banana, because remember a banana plant is like 90 something percent water. That's what is all, it's water membranes inside there. And what it will do if you cut it off at this level here, it will continue to provide 
water and nutrients to the seedlings at the bottom. Then after so much time, after it starts rotting down, you just get rid of it because as a natural, uh, a natural part of the decomposition, it will drop to the ground. So I think that's what we're going to do the next time. Once we harvest from here and harvest from the Lakatan over here, what we'll do is we'll cut it off at about this point right here and allow this to continue providing nutrients to some of the child seedlings. Now, I gotta show you already, I've already transplanted from this mother plant over here. This right here is another Lakatan. So we're gonna, we're gonna move some of our Lakatans from this little position here to this. I, I love Lakatan. They're great any time of the day uh, for desserts, uh, for your breakfast. So we're gonna continue to propagate this in our small backyard that we have here. Well, he's enjoying uh, sitting in the morning sun here in the backyard. Now, the whole purpose of today's episode was to talk about something that you can do, you can do in your quarantine period while you're sitting inside your house. It's something that you could do if you're an adult. It's something you can do if you're a child. It's something that you can do as an adult and a child. Now, I want to share with you uh, this. You see this plant right here? But do you remember when I lived in my little 3,000 peso per month apartment in the Brongai while I was building Villa Feliz? 3,000 pesos, about $60. That was my rent, uh, about six US dollars for that apartment. But what I did inside there, I, 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 I started propagating some of the seeds, or let's, a better word probably would be germinating. I took some of the seeds from some of the fruits that I purchased from the grocery store and I allowed them to start sprouting in a controlled environment and then what I did is I planted them inside the ground. Now this right here, this is a mango. This is a mango from a mango fruit that I got from the grocery store. And I showed you how to do that in one of the earlier videos uh, from the apartment and that's probably two, two and a half years ago I showed you how to do that. Uh, but what I did, I, I created a seedling and then a seedling is small. Well, still, this is just a big seedling right here. And this guy right here, I can't plant him in the backyard because I've told you on numerous occasions that if I plant this one, because this is a native mango that's actually normal for this area right here, one mango tree would take up my entire backyard. I could have none of these other, uh, these are mainly dwarf variety plants that we have back here uh, because of the size restrictions that we have here. So something you could do, as a project for yourself or a project for your family or all together, all of you together as a family, what you can do is you can take something and you can have an experiment. You can have a gardening experiment that you can share. And then make something like that mango that I have back there. I think we have several other plants back here. Uh, let's see if I can find some other ones. Oh, oh, this also, you see this here? This is avocado. I planted this from avocado seed also inside the apartment. And uh, it's doing great. I want you to look at the green, the lush greenness of the leaves on this one. It's doing amazing. Now they're in pots or they're in bags that are restricting the growth of the roots. Uh, Cause if I put them inside the raised bed garden, if I put them in there without that, then that all the root structure would take over all of the garden inside there. And it would be a nightmare trying to pull it up to transplant. But these are only going to go, these will continue to grow and we'll continue growing them in a controlled environment like a pot. We'll have like a clay pot, we'll put them inside. But the whole thing is that I'm trying to get to today, this is a great opportunity for you to spend some family time together or yourself if you don't have any little ones running around the house and you can sit and you can put together your little garden. And then what you could do in the years to come after we get through all this and we will get through all of this situation that we're in right now, you can say, oh, maybe you could say that's my corona mango <laughs> or something like that it'll be something and it'll be something that you can laugh about in the years to come uh, but something that you can share and you can share with your families uh, the new generations of family that will be coming along in the years to come now until next time i hope you enjoyed today's episode you know the routine like share and subscribe so until the next time you have a safe and wonderful day
enjoyed today's episode and you would like to see more just like these, just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects, how to, or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building, you'll find answers there as well.